the universe has infinite power, he can control all, everything in the world cannot be separated from him, including you and I are no exception. This force is called the law of attraction, the universe can give you everything you can't imagine. If you want to use this power to change your life, let it bring you wealth, happiness, health, positivity, optimism, hope, love and so on. Watch Change Your Life Action, the YouTube channel, which allows you to get everything you want, watch immediately. Remember to subscribe to YouTube channel. It's best to click on this bell-shaped icon, so that you're the first to receive a new video. It can make a perfect change in your life. Let's start watching now, today's title is The Side Effects and Dangers of Opening Your Third Eye Ajna. Although you probably know that the third eye is associated with wisdom and intuition, you may not be aware of the side effects that can come with opening your third eye. For example, it can induce uncomfortable physical sensations. Similarly, it can make it hard to regulate your own behavior, and it can lead to confusing experiences during your sleep. So, does this mean that it is better to keep your third eye closed? Alternatively, do the benefits outweigh the potential costs? We'll explore how to open your third eye and explain how to tell if your third eye is open already, along with considering the dangers of opening third eye chakras. As it turns out, all of these dangers can be mitigated by careful foresight. To that end, we'll suggest a range of techniques that will help you ensure that your third eye is a source of empowerment rather than fear. What is your third eye? The third eye is located in your pineal gland, which ancient philosophers believed was the seat of the soul. It is the third eye that allows us to intuit possible futures and make sense of our own potential, and it evolved to help us identify underlying patterns in our lives. Everyone has a third eye, and everyone gains access to it. However, some use it more than others, and with greater intensity. Any time that you have a gut feeling, you're drawing from the perception of your third eye. For example, just think about the times when you simply knew you should go to a particular place or seek contact with a particular person, even though you couldn't justify this choice with articulable logic. It's helpful to think of the third eye as a unique sense organ, one that can be honed and sharpened with work. In addition to helping you read your environment and access intuitions about the path you should follow in life, it can help you tune into particular vibrations in other people. This means that strengthening your use of the third eye not only enhances your perception but also assists you in connecting with people whose energy fits with yours. Third Eye Awakening – How to know if your third eye is open Many people mistakenly think that they need to work on causing a third eye awakening when in fact it is already open. This is largely because fear and uncertainty can prompt us to ignore what we take in with the third eye, we are often raised to discount our hunches. So, how do you know if your own third eye is open? The easiest way to answer this question is to pay attention to whether you have gut feelings, even one that you suppress. The more seemingly baseless intuitions you have, the more likely it is that your third eye is currently open, whether you want it to be or not. Third eye opening side effects. In addition to causing strong gut feelings, having an open third eye can induce a wide range of other side effects. In particular, look out for the following third eye opening side effects, a light feeling of pressure between your eyebrows. This could be similar to the sensation of someone gently pressing a finger to the skin in that area. This needn't happen when you're feeling particularly spiritual, but it is often a reminder that the spiritual dimension of life is currently relevant. Starting to picture things in your mind, or even starting to dream about particular things, before they happen. A sense that colors are brighter and that your environment is sharper. An open third eye allows you to take in light and details that you would otherwise miss, and this can be intense or overwhelming at first. Feeling like you are changing on a fundamental level, even if you struggle to put it into words. It's common for the third eye to open because of transformative experiences, or to occur just before a period of great growth. More frequent tension headaches, i.e., headaches that feel like pressure on your temples or like a band around your head. This is sometimes explained as being a result of your mind working harder than usual. 
what causes third eye chakra blockages or imbalances. It's important to be aware that you may struggle to open or utilize your third eye. In particular, blockages or imbalances can develop in the location of the third eye chakra, and it is only by dislodging these blockages that you'll be able to access the full power of your intuition. Common causes of this sort of imbalance include exhaustion, resistance to the power of your third eye, high levels of consistent stress, and repeated emotional conflict in your life. Remember, your third eye can be underactive or overactive, so be aware of different cues. If it is underactive, you may struggle to concentrate, feel anxious, find it difficult to self-reflect, and feel somehow disconnected from the people around you. Meanwhile, if you're dealing with an overactive third eye, you may be trapped in overanalyzing your current situation, feel mentally fogged up, and repeatedly escape into daydreams rather than engaging with real life. 7. Dangers of opening your third eye as you're now aware, there are many reasons why you might want to open your third eye and lots of ways in which you can benefit from doing so. Of course, however, opening one's third eye is not without risks. If the process is improperly managed, you can end up feeling overwhelmed and may struggle to deal with your new sense of power. Third eye opening side effects include the following, all of which can be effectively managed with careful planning. 1. Vivid dreams and nightmares. If your third eye opens at a time that you don't expect and you're ill-equipped to manage it, your sleep can be severely disrupted. In particular, you may experience especially intense dreams and nightmares, some of which can be frightening. You may also wake up feeling tired, and find the images from your dreams keep returning throughout the day in a way that makes it hard to concentrate or relax. Meditating before going to bed can help you to counteract this possible side effect of third eye experiences, encouraging your mind to enter into a calm and balanced state that facilitates less erratic input from the third eye. In addition, keeping a dream journal can help you understand the underlying themes from dreams and nightmares, and your third eye will typically stop overloading you with repeatedly intense imagery if you process the lesson or message that is being represented during your sleep. 2. Scary Accurate Intuition When your third eye first opens, your finely honed faculty of intuition may feel like more of a burden than a gift. You may become so good at predicting what will happen in your life, or how others behave, that you feel truly unnerved by it and find it daunting rather than useful. In time, you will become used to the improved accuracy of your gut feelings. The lesson here is not to try and repress your gut feelings. Instead of reducing their frequency, pushing them away tends to make them come back with a greater level of intensity. This includes in the form of dreams, as mentioned above. To deal with the scarily accurate predictions involved in opening your third eye, try to remind yourself that these intuitions will help you make good choices. While it can seem bizarre at first, it is also the key to a happier, more informed future. 3. You may become fearless. Sometimes, people report a fearlessness associated with opening your third eye chakra, as they have a sense of being invincible or superhuman. The opening of the third eye can be deeply empowering, and with this empowerment often comes a dramatic increase in self-confidence. So, what should you do to ensure that this new fearlessness is healthy? Firstly, it's important to note that an open third eye doesn't make you omniscient so, it's still important to think carefully about everything you choose to do in life. Secondly, it's helpful to deliberately engage the rational parts of your mind in order to make sure you get some logical input to balance the raw intuition few to you by the third eye. For example, it can be helpful to write a pros and cons list about something you're thinking about doing. In addition, write down all the feelings and intuitions that strike you. 4. Astral Projection When you astrally project, part of you leaves your body and travels elsewhere. This typically happens in bed at night, when your soul or essence may raise up above your physical body and leave you feeling frightened and confused. As you become more spiritually powerful by opening your third eye, this power can emerge at unpredictable times and this can be difficult to get used to at first. The trick here is to realize that there is nothing inherently dangerous about astral projection. You cannot get stuck outside of your body. Plus, nothing bad will happen to your body during the period in which you temporarily detach from it. 
Try to view experiences of astral projection as signals that your intuitive faculties are sharpening and that you are becoming more and more in tune with the universe. Once this type of experience becomes more normal, you may even find it pleasurable or profound. 5. Your eye chakra could become overactive. When your third eye becomes oversensitive, you may experience some of the physical side effects that we discussed above. Most notably, you may develop a sensitivity to light, with bright sun and vivid colors becoming almost offensive to look at. In addition, you might start to get uncomfortable headaches that your doctor considers to be unexplained. It's unpleasant to deal with these signs of having an oversensitive third eye. Therefore, it's important to work on balancing your third eye chakra, more on that below. In addition to this balancing, you may find it helpfully to temporarily limit your exposure to, especially stimulating environments. By gradually increasing the time you spend outside, for example, you can slowly allow your third eye to become acclimatized to the intense sights and sounds that flood it. Meanwhile, relaxing your body will help to reduce the tension in your head muscles, potentially dulling your headaches. 6. Third eye awakening can be confusing and scary. The mere opening of the third eye can itself lead to feeling confused and frightened. In this way, you may even start to ask how to close your third eye as the new flood of information can leave you destabilized. In some cases, you may even wonder if there's a way to go back to how things were before. However, it's vital to remember that you are merely gaining access to information that already existed all around you. You're not changing the future or reading the thoughts of others, you're just tuning in to cues that you didn't use to know how to interpret. When you attempt to view the opening of the third eye as just an increase in a previous capacity, it can seem much less frightening. Further, try to remind yourself that your spiritual awakening can really only be good for you in the long term. It will help you understand your life's true purpose. 7. Chaotic behavior. Finally, as well as feeling frightened, you might notice you start to behave in inconsistent ways. This is similar to the way in which any major change can lead to erratic behavior. You may want time to adjust to the opening of your third eye, and time to figure out what your newly sharpened intuition should mean for how you behave. Be patient with yourself, and don't expect yourself to immediately know exactly how to manage everything you're learning and feeling. As well as simply waiting out this adjustment period, it can be helpful to exercise a little more restraint than usual. In other words, question the urges you feel before simply acting on them. Plus, quickly check that you can stand by your behavior before you choose to put it into practice. Meanwhile, let those you are close to knowing that you're going through a period of growth and adjustment so that they can offer support and compassion. I opened my third eye and I regret it. How to balance your third eye. If you're worried about opening your third eye and want to ensure that you don't regret it, make a consistent effort to keep your third eye chakra balanced in a healthy way. The following techniques are especially effective in balancing your third eye, practice meditation on a daily basis. This can be a simple 10-minute exercise during which you focus on your breathing or scan your body for sensations. Or, it can be a more complex meditative journey if you're already experienced. Put lavender or nearly essential oils on the pulse points of your wrists, or light-scented candles that include these oils. Ensure you get approximately 8 hours of sleep per night. Practice good sleep hygiene. For example, remove electronic devices from your bedroom and do something relaxing for at least an hour before bed. Eat foods to nourish the third eye, including red onion, blueberries, blackberries, eggplant, red grapes, and raspberries. In general, any red and purple foods are said to be connected to a balanced third eye chakra. Recite daily affirmations that relate to the third eye, such as, I acknowledge the wisdom that comes from within me, and, I am open to the inner guidance of my third eye. Do you want your life to be better and better? Do you want your finances to be stable? Do you want to find an ideal lover? I believe that you always want to have both career and love. Have you found solution yet? We already have the answer for you. All the answers are for you. Click on the link in the description below my video. Click here, show more. To see more details description. All you need is here.
Subscribe to our channel, you'll be the first to receive the latest video, and click on the link in the description below the video to find your own answer. I believe the valuable answer will change your life. That's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment. If you find it interesting, bye, and see you again in the next videos.